Hey, this is Terry from Fiberscope.net. Today we're talking about our new Cyclops Zoom Pole Camera. Um, this unit's going to be made in the US, so you're looking at really durable, solid quality, and it comes with a lot of extra features. The unit's going to ship in a large plastic pelly case, so you'll be getting a, a solid unit that you can transport around and it'll be well protected when you're taking it to job sites. Um, basically, you're looking at a large camera head. It's got a 40 times optical zoom and then 80 times digital or an additional 40 times digital zoom so you can go up to 80. Um, Built-in LED lights for illumination. There's also these optional lights that you can attach on. They just clip on and they're extra high-powered LED lights for uh, distance inspections. So when you're trying to zoom in over 50 feet or more, that's what you're going to want to use to help illuminate that. On the back side, you've got a protector for when you're putting it into manholes, so you can know when you touch the bottom without using the camera head to do that. Um, this can be adjusted for different heights, and you can also use it to keep it off the side wall as you're inserting it. So this will hit the wall as you're going down instead of the camera unit. Um, the nice thing about these units is that they have built-in articulation, so you can actually turn the handle and it'll articulate the camera head to go forward and backwards. So you can use that if you need to go into a hole and then turn to look sideways, or if you want to turn to look up or down, um, it'll help with insertions that way. The poles are telescopic. Uh, you just unscrew them to release them, and then uh, you can extend the pole up to 14 feet. Um, pole itself isn't that heavy, so it shouldn't be hard for you to control. If you're getting out to the full 14 feet and you still want to use the monitor, you might want to have either somebody else using the buttons on the monitor, or you'll want something holding the pole to support it. If you're using it in a manhole, we do have a bracket that you can get that'll help set it up there, so it'll be hands-free. You'll just insert it down and then you'll be free to use the DVR box. Um, also for manhole inspections, Instead of LED lights, you can use a laser uh, detection for distance. So you can monitor how far away you're looking at certain things. Just shine a laser at it, it'll tell you the distance of what it's hitting. For the monitor setup, um, pretty easy to use. Collapsible, so you do have rotation on this. And then you can also rotate it side to side. Um, on the bottom side here, you can open it up. There's a SD memory card for image and video capture. USB port to transfer files off, and then a rechargeable battery for portable use. If you need to, or if you're on bigger job sites, you can also use an external ex additional battery. So this can plug into the unit. You can attach it on at the base, so you're not really carrying it around with you. And that'll just plug into the side here. So there's a port for the camera unit, and then there's a port for the extra battery or a power adapter, and a port for uh, audio-visual out. So you can export that to a bigger screen if you wanted to, or even to a US capture box if you wanted to use a laptop. Um, there's also a neck strap, so you don't have to carry it around. You can have it dangling from your neck, hit record, and then deal with the pole and inserting it. So that'll help alleviate the issues. Um, this unit, basically just a sun shield. You put it over top of the monitor so you can use it in daylight. Look at the screen, it's not going to have any reflections off of that. Um, basically what you're looking at is opening up your port. On the cables, you'll notice that there's a white dot. You just want to line that up with the white dot that's on the side of the monitor. It'll plug in directly. And then the power button is just on the side. So when you turn it on, you'll get lights coming on showing that it's turned on. And your cable will just be here. Um, same with the DC in. There's a little white dot that you line up. Um, when you are on DVR mode, you'll have whether you're at a different focal range, um, how much zoom you have, you'll have your date and time stamp, that sort of information. LED lights you can see are on right now. You just control these with monitor. And then your buttons on the unit. There, I turned this off. Your buttons on the unit, you've got your menu for the screen, so that'll pop up that way. You've got your menu for video capture, so if you want to play your videos, if you want to change any of the settings, um, you can do it that way. Image capture, simple, press one, captures an image. Recording, same thing. Start recording, it'll say recording in the top, stop at the bottom, it'll save the file. Um, additional things, your zoom is at the bottom here. 
as you zoom in, it'll tell you how much you're going and it'll autofocus for you. So once you get to something that you're looking at, it'll autofocus on that for you or you can change the mode and it'll go from a little uh, magnifying glass with a, with a plus mark that's auto, it'll go to four little uh, squares making up a corner. That's your manual focus. So you can manually change what you want the focal range to be if there's something that you're having trouble seeing. And then you can switch back to auto zoom and you'll be good to go from there. Okay, so just to go over once again, you're looking at heavy duty camera head, waterproof to 30 feet, built in LED lights, as well as additional super strong LEDs for distance inspections, 40 time optical zoom. You're looking at uh, built in LEDs and then it's also really solid camera unit with low light sensitivity, so you'll have no issues looking in complete darkness. Pole systems are hard aluminum, um, not going to break very easily. The entire unit's made in the US, so you know you're getting solid quality, not any issues that way either. And then your DVR box is going to do image and video capture. Um, you can document all your inspections that way, and you won't have any issues using it in daylight if you need to.